Hey everybody, guess what? I have a surprise for you guys. Yeah, it, it still stemmed with Mr. C, but I was gonna teach this class uh, coming up and I actually found old footage of my great-great-grandfather teaching this lesson. No and I figured I would share this with you. So I was able to take these old real films, the old timey, re oh, it's just so old. Um, and I was able to put it on my computer. Don't ask me how, uh, I was just able to do it. So I'm gonna turn you over to my great, great grandfather and he's gonna teach this lesson. All right, in three, two, one. Hello everybody, my name is Archibald Ulysses Ambrose Carey and I just came over from Britain. Now you may hear a little bit of British and Irish and maybe even a little American in my voice. That's because I'm the first Carey to come to the United States. Now, I am chuffed to teach this lesson and I just started teaching and I wanted to do something that just came out and all the boys and girls are playing with it. They're quite chuffed to play with this, and it's called the Thaumatrope. Now, let me tell you a little something about the Thaumatrope. Uh, it, we don't really know who invented it. Uh, we, we think it's a British physician named uh, John Ayrton Paris, and, and no, I don't know him. Uh, he described it in 1827 in this book. I think it was called uh, Philosophy in Sport, made science in earnest. It's quite long, and the, you know, us British, we like to do stuff quite long like that. Um, but we also think there was this uh, maths man, uh, his name was Charles Babbage, and he thinks this geologist, the guy who studies rocks and all, yeah, uh, named William Henry Fitton, and in 1864, uh, just about the time I was born, uh, the thermotrope was invented when he was spinning one of them shillings, right, a little shilling, Little pe you know, I don't know what, uh, in America, I think it's a, a coin, right? Yeah, and uh, so he spun it and it looked two sides at the same time. So today, uh, we're going to make our own thaumatrope and all we need is just a few little devices. But before I show you this, all these little bits and bobs here, I do want to show you this movie. I love movies, it, it, but this is the first movie that just came out in 1888. It's about right now. Uh, 1888, and I, everyone is just all oh, off the off the rocker to see this, right? So let me just show you this movie right now. Yeah, it was pretty good there, huh? Well, it, I don't know. It, it's you may not think it's very much, but you gotta understand this 1888. Right? We don't have all those them fancy things that they they maybe are gonna have in the future. You know, flying cars and, and hoverboards and whatnot. Uh, so. It, it's just really cool, but before that, all the kids, oh, they had to play with these thaumatrophs. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's talk about our bits and bobs here. Well, first you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Okay, so I've got these nice scissors here, very nice. I handmade them myself. And then I have one of these, I think you Americans call it a hole punch. Um, we're gonna need that to punch some holes in there. Now, if you don't have one of those, that's quite all right. You can use scissors and you could actually make a hole with scissors. That's, you know, you can do that if you want. Um, I don't want you to get all in a kerfuffle about not having a hole punch here. Scissors are just fine, okay? Uh, you're gonna need some of these uh, these rubber bands, right? I love these rubber bands, right? Um, I'm seeing the kids all like shooting them at each other. I'm like, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna poke your eye out there, mate. I don't want them to do that. Um, you're gonna need a little bit of cardboard. See, I have this cardboard circle here, uh, cause that's how we're gonna make our thaumatrope. Now this is a toy. Right? The kids love them. Kids are going nuts about them. So we're gonna make it. So you need like a cardboard circle. If you don't have one like this, you're gonna have to make your own circle and you can use it. And I've got this, one of the first compasses ever made in the 1800s. Oh, I hope my, hope my grandkids, 
Hope they keep this on because this is going to be worth lots of money there. Um, so you can draw a circle like that. If you don't have one of these, again, I don't want you to be good. You can use a piece of string and just make a circle like that. I don't know if um, your, your, the other teachers have shown you that, but you can take a string and make a circle like that, right? Okay, and then you can make your own design. I'm gonna show you how to make your own design. But if you don't have your design, what you can do, right? If you don't have an idea, you're like, oh, you know, Mr. You just call me Mr. C, right? Uh, I got a long name, you know, Archibald and Ulysses. Yeah, Mr. C is fine, right? Okay, jolly good then. So I've got this little spider here, and I don't like spiders, but this one, look at he's, he's all, uh, oh, he's, he's, he's so happy right there. Look at that. Oh, look at him. He's all chuffed, like, oh, look at me. I've got my spider web there, huh? <laughs> yes. So we're going to use this, but then I'm going to show you how to make your own thaumatrope. All right, once you got all your bits and bobs, oh, yes, piece of paper, right? You can either have the design. Um, I think we're going to put it on my... Uh, there's not really a way for me to put it, but uh, maybe in the future they'll invent something. Uh, I'll probably call it like, you know, MeTube or YouTube or something. And, and maybe we can put it down there. And then you can just, uh, I don't know, maybe touch it, or, uh, maybe click on it. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. You got your, you got your, uh, your spider and your, and your web right there. So maybe we'll get you a couple of those and, and off you go, right? Okay, so once you got your bits and bobs, Go ahead and join me down here, and we're going to get this Thaumatrope up and running. Hello, boys and girls. All right, so I don't mean to throw a spanner in the works, but I forgot to mention you're going to need some glue, right? And I have this Elmer's glue, and it is school glue that all the kids in primary school are wearing it right now. Um, and they love the Elmer's glue. Uh, just make sure you don't eat it, because it doesn't taste very good. So we're going to use this to stick one side of our design on one side of the cardboard and then one side on the other. So I've already cut out my cardboard in a circle. So you're going to do that too. First, you need to figure out how big do you want your thaumatrope to be. So I made my thaumatrope pretty big just so you can see what's going on. You don't need to make it this big. You can make it small or you can make it really big. I made my car a medium just so all you boys and girls can see it out there. Yes? Okay. And this is going to be the bee's knees because we've already got this figured out. And now we're going to go ahead and cut out my design. Now, look at my design right here. I got my spider web there. And oh, that's my cat over there. It looks like he's caught maybe a rat or something. Yeah, oh, he caught a rat there. Oh, jolly good. Oh, oh, that cat, there's the bee's knees, I tell you. Oh, jolly good there, Vincent. Yes, we call, we call him the cat Vincent. Oh, he's quite good. And so you see, I have my spider, my smiling spider there. So both are upright, because I'm gonna show you a way you can do it both, right? There's two ways you can do this. The first way is have them both up like this, right? Facing up and facing up. And then the other one, we're gonna switch things around a little bit, because we're gonna flip it a different way, all right? Now, I don't want you to get I don't want to kerfuffle about that. Uh, everything is ticky-boo. We're going to make this happen, okay? So go ahead and cut out your circles. Now, if you downloaded this, I don't know how you would download. I don't even know what download is, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out right here. And there you go, Bob's your uncle right there, see? Okay. Now, we're going to cut out this spider right here. Oh, the smiling spider. I don't like spiders, but this one seems very happy. And there you go. All right, so I'm going to take the scraps away here. I'm going to throw them over there. Now, the thing with this is you've got to make sure, and that's even like a little big right there. So I don't want to make it that big. So I'm going to take my compass. And I'm just going to measure out just a little bit. And you don't want too much cardboard on the side here, right? It's not going to look very good. You want it to be just a little bit, just enough for a little hole punch right there. So let's go ahead. And there's my center right there. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Figure out how small it needs to be. Oh, a little bit then. Oh, smashing right there, yes, okay. 
and go ahead and draw your circle. Remember, if you're using a string, you do the same thing. You put your string there, you put your pencil, put your finger, and then boom, Bob your uncle, and there you go. You'd be all chuffed that you made a circle there. Oh, looks like I got a little span in the works right there. That's all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. Oh, jolly good then. So there we go. And now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and paste. Oh, that's good, I like that right there. That's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead. Now, when you paste this, we're gonna put one picture on the front, and then we're gonna put one picture on the back. Now you need to make sure these pictures line up how you want them to, right? If they're off like this, what's gonna happen is we're gonna spin it, and that spider's gonna be off the web. It's not gonna look very good. So we need to make sure that the spider is exactly where he wants to be. So when we spin it, oh, there's the spider. Right, he's right there in the web. You can even see the web right there. Look at that. There's the web. You can kind of see him. So that's what you want right there. So you just need to make sure that it's lined up as best as you can. So let's go and put the spider in first. And let's put some paste. This Elma's glue. Man, they, this is really good stuff, this Elma. Right then, so now what we're going to do is just paste it right in the middle. Now it may be tough to find the middle, and that's okay if it's not perfectly in the middle. All right, I didn't measure it. I'm just looking at it with my eyeball and saying, oh, that's jolly good there. All right, now what we're going to do is we need to make sure, because both circles are exactly the same size, we can take a look at this with our brains and go, all right then, I need to make sure that I have that much around for my spider web. So let's turn it over there. And I think that looks about right. And we can even test it by looking and going, yes, that's, that's pretty good right there. Oh, blimey. I didn't know I was so good at this. All right then. Oh, cheerio. So I make sure my spider is facing up and I'm going to just flip it over, right? I want to make sure my spider is facing up, right? So he's smiling at me and he's not doing one of these. I don't want him upside, I don't want upside down spider. I want a right side up spider. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over. And then let's put our spider web right in the center. Oh, jolly good, look at that. That looks to be about right and if it's not, right, with the paste still wet, you can still kind of move it around a little bit. It's not gonna hurt anything. And I got a little bit of a, I don't even know what that is right there. Uh, but what you can do is you put a little more paste up there if you need to. Paste is your friend here. All right, and then we just put it down, put up a little bit. We wanna make sure this paste is all the way down. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Right, and there we go. Bob's your uncle. I got one little bit up here I need to get. I don't like that. No, oh, jolly good. Okay, now there's me spider. There's me spider. I've got a little glue there, it's all right. And I've got this me spider web. Little glue there, look at that. It comes right off. Oh, this stuff is amazing. Whoever this Elmer is, I like him. That's a good chap right there. All right then. So now what we're going to do is because we got the spider facing up, we're going to punch our holes in the top and the bottom, right? Top and bottom. You want to make sure it's in the top and bottom because we're going to spin it around the top, right? So I'm going to take the hole punch here and I'm just going to put it right there. Oh, beautiful, right? You see that hole punch right there? That's what I want. And then I'm gonna put it directly in the top. Now, if you're not sure if it's the top, you can take something straight, like a piece of paper, and make sure it's straight up and down. You take your pencil, I got one of these fancy mechanical pencils they just invented. And then I'm gonna put a little dot right there. And so that tells me that's why I'm gonna make me hole punch. Take me hole punch here, and there you go, Bob's your uncle. And now we're good. So now, 
We need to make our rubber bands. So we got three rubber, I'm gonna put me spider over here. Oh, see a spider. So we're gonna take some rubber bands and if you're making a small Talmatrope, you can only do like maybe one or two, but I've got a big one. So I'm gonna do three rubber bands. So take two rubber bands, just like that. Go ahead and put one on top of the other. And then you're going up with your left hand, you're gonna grab this one right here. And then with your right hand, you need to tuck that under, tuck this guy under just like that. Just over under, right? And you see, I've already got a little knot right there. Gorgeous. Oh, bloody gorgeous there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Show you one more time. Go ahead, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put me left on top of me right. And I pull this one up while I'm putting the other one under. Let's see, maybe I need to do it a little different there. Yeah, yeah. All right then, here we go. Cheerio. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna make, oh, beautiful. Did the same thing, and now I've got a super long rubber band. And go ahead and do the next with your other three rubber bands. Beautiful. So one on top of the other. I pull this one up, I push that one under, and then I grab it with my fingers. Oh, Bob's Junkle right there. There we go, jolly good. Now we're gonna do the same thing. But now what I can do is I can take this and just push it under, push it under. Hello. What's all this then, huh? What's all this? Make sure you push it under. There we go, and then you just go ahead and pull, and boom, you've got your three rubber bands there. All right, let's go ahead, and now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it on each of these holes right here. So go ahead and push your hole, push the rubber band up through the hole, Oh, bloody good there, bloody good. And then go ahead and push your rubber band in through the loop right there. Oh, that's the bee's knees there, huh? And there we go, it's my rubber bands attached to my cardboard. And we're gonna do the same thing. Push the rubber band up, beautiful. All right, and then go ahead and I'm going to push this rubber band through this, see that big hole right there? I'm just gonna push it through. I'm gonna grab it with my hands. And boom, there we go, Bob's your uncle. All right, let's give this a little spin right now. And let's see if everything's tickety-boo. Yeah, hello there, boys and girls. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we've got this Dalmatrope, right? I got me spider. Oh, my, look at you, the cute little spider there, right? Not like the spiders in the basement there, huh? <laughs> uh, especially when I'm having my tea time. All right, then we have the spider web. And what we're gonna do now is we have our rubber band and we're just gonna grab it and we just gotta grab one side and we're just gonna spin the rubber band in a direction. It's like winding it up, right? And you may need your mom and dad's help. All right, and we're just gonna spin it and spin it and spin it. Right, and you may let go and that's all right. You're gonna spin it until you can't spin it anymore. And then what's gonna happen here is, I'm gonna spin it and I'm gonna keep spinning it. Oh, look at all that right there. I got lots of rubber bands right there. Oh, beautiful, that's jolly good. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and let go. Two, one. Oh, there we go. Hello, hello. That's not too bad right there, right? It's going really fast. And then you guys may have a little more luck, right? This is a pretty big one, but I can even speed it up even more. Let's try, let's try it one more time. Or maybe my heart's in the way. Like I said, you hear some Irish, you maybe even hear some British, maybe hear some Australian. Like I said, the carries are from all over. Little bit of uh, British, Irish, and we even had a few go to Australia. Yeah, they got a little trouble. Uh, they, they run a little bit of the law there. They had a couple of bobbies uh, get them. I don't know what happened, but so then they came back from Australia. Everything's good. So yes, if you're wondering, 
Uh, remember, I say you call me Mr. C. Don't call me Archibald. I don't even like your name. Uh, you can call me Mr. C. I, I, I've started to li like that name. You know, maybe I'll pass it down to, uh, I don't know, maybe my great-grandson. Maybe I'll get, maybe he'll call himself Mr. C. Right? And I'll keep spinning it here. And I'm really getting that nice and tight. Just like that. Oh, there we go. Totally could there. Right? And if you have a smaller one, you don't need to do it as fast. Right? You don't need to do it as much. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let it go in three, two, one. And there we go, right? Now I'm telling you, you're probably like, oh my goodness, Mr. Carey, that's the bee's knees right there. And that's what I told you, all the kids here, right? Now I'm, I'm not in London anymore. I was in London, I went to Dublin. Uh, right now I'm in, I think you call it California. Uh, near Los Angeles, also great city, right? Lots of people there. Um, now all the kids in Los Angeles, they love it. Uh, but really in Britain, all the kids were going, they were just off the trolley about this. So we're gonna do that, but then I wanna show you, right? Maybe you don't have access to one of these uh, printing presses, right? I got a printing press at home. I got a little bit of money. Uh, printing presses nowadays, 1800s, they're quite expensive. So if you're watching this, maybe you're like, I don't have a printing press, Mr. C. What if I just got me pencil and me, uh, me compass or me string? How am I gonna do this? Don't you worry, mate. I got you. I'm gonna show you how to do this in a few minutes. Uh, right now, it's tea time. I gotta go get me a spot of Earl Grey and then I'll be back and show you the rest of this. Hello again, everybody. It's uh, yeah, Mr. C here, and you know, I got my spot of tea here. I couldn't find any Earl Grey. I guess I'm all out, but I found English Tea Time, which is just as good. Just doesn't have that hint of bergamot. So we're going to do another one here, and we're going to do a little different. So what happened when we did it the first time is we had both pictures facing up, right? You know what I mean? I had the spider web facing up. And then on the other side, I had the, the spider facing up. Well, that's because we were rotating it this way, because we had our two hole punches right here. So it was going back and forth that way. So of course it's all right to have your picture up and down the same way. But this time we're gonna do a little different and I think this one works better, but it's a, you've got to draw it a little differently, right? So I'm going to show you what I'm going to draw, because now we're going to put them on the side, and we're going to flip it over. Now, I noticed a little bit when I was using my rubber band, uh, it didn't really spin up that well, it was just really too long. Now, it wasn't a damp squib, but I wasn't really happy with it. I wasn't as gobsmacked as I usually am when I use these thaumatropes. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to use one rubber band for each side. So I've got one here, and it's going to go one here, right? And I made it a little bit smaller, so it should be easier. Um, but if you're making a really small one, one rubber band will be just fine. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get my photo here and this is as you notice this little thing right here is facing up but look at his face right so when you spin it around it's going to look like he's got a face kind of like one of those happy faces i don't know what they're going to call it in the future maybe um maybe emojis i, I don't know you know i'm just i, I don't know what they're going to call it but you notice his face is upside down well that's because we're going to flip it upside down right so when this flips it's going to look, and maybe you can see a little bit, it's going to look like that, right? We want it to look like that. Because if it didn't, it'd, he'd have an upside down face, and that would be a bunch of cod swallop right there. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to get my scissors out. I just had them sharpened at the, uh, the blacksmith there. So, we're going to go ahead and cut out my circles. And if you want to draw this, you could absolutely draw something like this. So let me show you, for you artists out there, I'm gonna go ahead and take me plain piece of paper. I'm gonna get me pencil here. And then what I'm gonna do, I know, right, I'm gonna take my, my cardboard, I'm just gonna draw a quick circle around it. So now I know right 
that that's the cardboard. But now I'm gonna take out my compass, or if you're using the string, you can absolutely use the string, right? And we're gonna find the middle of the circle. It's about right here. I think it's about right. All right, and then all we're gonna do is just move the compass around. So now what I would do is I would cut out, I would ignore this little line right there. That's just telling me that it can't be any bigger than that. So I would cut out this right here. And let me just show you what that looks like. Well, first, let me, before I cut it out, you would make two of these, right? So if I'm making one of those happy faces, I could make, color this all in, maybe a shade of yellow, maybe red if he's an angry face, maybe a shade of blue, maybe if he's sad, or, you know, I don't know, maybe purple if he's maze, right? And then I would draw another one, but then I would make an upside down face, right? Because I'm gonna flip it back and forth. I'm gonna show you here with my little, little guy over there. But then I would just cut this out. There we go. All right, so then I take me cardboard and I just put it right there and see how perfectly that fits. Well, that's pretty good. So then what I would do is I would make another one of these and if you want to draw again, that's fine. Or you could just take another sheet of paper and then just carefully draw around. Want to make sure you get it close to the bottom there and then just draw another circle, being careful, right? Because this is thin paper. If you draw it too big, if you draw it too much, or if you push too hard, it's gonna go in, it's not gonna make a circle. And then, yeah, that would be a damn squid right there. Cause then you wouldn't have a good, good circle. Yeah, and that's pretty good. I would just cut around there. And then, blimey, you got two circles there. And then you draw your thaumatrope, and Bob's your uncle, and then you're done. But what I'm gonna do is I just wanna show you how it would look when we do it another way. So I'm gonna take this little fellow here. He looks like a like a cheery fellow. Oh, hello there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out here. All right, and there we go. So I got, got his face right here. So now if I did it like this, look at this. His face would be around his belly, right? That's not what we want it to be. We want it to be up near where his face is. So that's why I have it upside down. It looks weird, right? Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, it looks a little weird because his face is all, maybe you can't see his face, but it looks all kind of weird, but that's all right. So we're gonna go ahead and spin it like that. And there we go, see? Now it looks like it's upside down, but when we flip it around, it's gonna look, just smashing right there. It's just gonna look smashing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right now. Now, I know you're not supposed to put the glue on here, but I like doing it because I don't wanna get it on the table. Hopefully my Hopefully the art teacher doesn't see this and she gets all, uh, you know, don't want to get mad at me. Because really, our art teacher, I don't know if you know her, uh, you know, she really is the bee's knees there. There we go. Oh, oh, jolly good, yeah, jolly good. All right, I got, I got this little guy's body up here. So now, if I put it up here, right, I'm gonna put this at the bottom. So check it out. So if I do it like this, if I just make it look the same, his face is going to be upside down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it, right? So it's upside down and it's near the bottom. And you're probably like, oh, Mr. C, his face is going to be upside down on his tummy. Uh, it's not though. Watch this. I'm going to do it real slow like. And you go. And we do it fast enough, and you can even kind of see it, it's going to be right on his face. Now, we need to do it really fast uh, because uh, that's just too slow, but you're going to see what I mean. So let's go ahead and take that glue. Now, really, when you make sure you put this on here, it's got to be perfectly lined up, right? Now, maybe not perfectly, uh, but it can't be all 
cattywampus, right? Because if it is, then what's going to happen is it's going to look like his face is outside. His happy face is going to be outside his body, and that's just going to be a little weird. Right? It's maybe a little scary, maybe give me nightmares. I don't know. And there we go. Oh. There you go. All right, so make sure this goes on the bottom there, right? So make sure I got me top. Got me top right there, and I'll put my finger right there at the top. Now, even if you want to, you could actually put a little mark right there at the top, just so you know, that's the top right there. Okay, and I can look, and I go, yep, there's the top. And I wanna make sure this right there, it should be perfect. Oh, yes. Now, I am happy as Larry with that. Move a little glue there. It's all right, there's a little purple. Oh, perfect. All right, now, you're gonna take your hole punch, right? And remember, we're gonna do it not top and bottom. We're gonna do it side to side, right? That's what we're gonna do. So, take your hole punch. Make sure it's even. Now, it's all right if I got a little bit there, right? That's fine, right? It's okay. It's not like we're selling these things. Uh, this is just for our own fun, right? Give us a little bit of giggles there. So then I'm going to go over here. Go ahead and... Beautiful, right? That looks like it's, it's jolly good. Now, again, I'm going to take my rubber band. I'm only going to use one because... I think when I used three last time, it was just a little big, right? And it was just too hard to wind up. It didn't work as well. So again, that's all part of building this, right? Maybe you use five rubber bands and then it doesn't work. I don't want you to get upset. I want you to say, maybe I need to use one rubber band, maybe three. It's all part of engineering, right? Trial and error. You got a picture in your mind. You do it. It fails. And remember, fail is not a bad word. First attempt in learning. Right, learning, yeah, you gotta learn, right? You gotta fail to learn. If you don't fail, then you're never gonna learn. See, I, I made a little, I mucked it up a little bit there, right in front of you. It's not a big deal. Just to show you that Mr. C, and I'm an old man, right? I'm an old man, I made a little mistake. I'm gonna show you kids that it's all right to make mistakes. So now you can kind of see it, right? And we're gonna see how well this turns out. Now I think I maybe mucked up his face a little bit, but we're gonna really show you how well it works. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get a spot me tea, and then we're gonna go back and you're gonna see me in action. Yo, hello again, everybody. Just uh, finishing me tea here. Here's good tea. So, I finished it here, and I even added a few words, which you can do, right? Some of the thaumatropes I see nowadays, right? I've even seen like a vase, and on the other side, some bunch of flowers. And on the top, it says something about roses, and the bottom, it says, something else about roses, right? I, I don't know, I, I didn't see it really well. But you can do that, right? And then what's gonna happen, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. So I put, hi, I'm Badgie. And then there's his little face there, right? His little, his little cheeky face, right? Would you like to learn? So what we're gonna do is the same thing, and I feel like it's gonna go a little better here because I got one rubber band on each side instead of the three, which was really just a, you know, it was, I was just mucking about there with, you know, trying to get the rubber band and do that. You can also ask your mom and dad if, while you hold this, they could spin it like that. Now, if you're really good, you just hold one rubber band with your finger, hold another one with your finger, and then you just tighten it up and just rotate it, just like this. Now, I'm going to go the other way. So, I'm going to tighten it up, and you just spin it. How many times? I don't know. I'm going to do it maybe a hundred times. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up right now. It's getting tight right there, right? You see my finger, it's turning a little purple. All right, so I'm gonna keep going though because I want to go really fast and really, you know, knock your trousers off there. There we go. Oh, I 
feel like this is good right here. Oh, oh, gorgeous. All right, here we go in three, two, one. What do you think there, right? You can kind of see, oh, that's beautiful. Right, and then when it slows down, you can see the two images. Look at that. I think maybe we do one more time. Let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can really get it going. All right then, so what I did, you know, I, I don't think you want to watch me spin this. So I got it. Look at that. That was nice, nice and tight there. So then we're going to do a couple more and then we're going to let it go and we're going to see what happens. Then we got to talk about what's, what happened here. Ready in three, two, one. Oh, that's pretty good there, right? I can even spin it a little faster. And you can spin it even back and forth if you want, right? You can spin it really bit back and forth. And you can still get the same thing. It doesn't work as well. You gotta really keep it steady. But that's pretty cool, right? So we gotta talk about what's going on here. Well, we have two images. So how are we seeing it as one, right? We got one here. And then we got one here. I got some words up here and I got words down here. Well, when you do it really fast, how does it look like it's one image? It's two, right? Well, it seems to blend together because of something called persistence of vision. Oh, that's right, it's jolly good there. Persistence of human vision, right? So when we see things, we, we feel like we see it, it's just happening right then. Well, actually, when light hits the retina, right? And the retina is the thing on the back of your eye, right? You can, I don't want you to go look for it, just, there's a thing on the back of the eye called the retina. When the light hits it, right? There's a signal that goes to your brain. Then when it hits the brain, right, these signals still happen. Now, it, it happens for a little bit, 15 to 30 milliseconds. It's not very, it's not very long, right? It's, it's faster than a snap. It's quicker than a whip. But it's long enough so if we see something go really, 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 really fast, it can trick our brain. So our brain has these two images coming in at the same time. It doesn't know what to do with it. So we see this image and this image, that short enough time, that 15 to 30 milliseconds, it, it's long enough for our brain to go, oh, well, that's, two, that's one image right there. That's, that's not two. If it was two, I would know because I'm the brain and I'm very smart. But that's how you trick your brain. Because actually when you see things, you're actually seeing things that already happened. Right, so you're basically looking in the past. It's only about 30 milliseconds, it's not very fast. Or it's not very long, it's really fast, but it takes time for light to hit your eye, and then the eye to go to the retina, and the retina goes into the nerve and hits your brain, and your brain says, oh my goodness, that's a cheeky little fellow right there. Well, that's long enough time. When I do it really quickly, right, that persistence of vision, your brain sees two things, at the same time, it doesn't know what to do with it, so it says, well, I guess that's just one image there. It's not like a movie or anything, you know, with like fancy people dressed up, but it's a cool thing that you can, you know, impress your mom and your dad and your grandparents and your cousins. Very cool there. All right, so this is Mr. C. This is Mr. C, and, and I really hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, I don't know who's gonna see this. Maybe they'll look in the future. Uh, maybe me great, great, uh, me great, great grandson will you know, maybe take a video of this and, and show students if he becomes a teacher, maybe. I don't know. So I hope you enjoy this. Whew, it's getting a little hot in here, isn't it? So I guess I maybe maybe it's time for me to, uh, you know, maybe get a, maybe another spot of tea. You know, maybe, uh, maybe listen, maybe listen to, uh, maybe listen to the opera or something. I don't know. All right. Thank you all very much, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed this and cheerio.